Hey guys and gals. Um, is there any? <laughs> Anyways, hello. Um, I'm here to show you something you've been asking for so long. How do you import? Uh, how do you actually um, import uh, particles without a uh, real flow particle plugin? I mean, real flow particles or any other. But I'm going to show you in real flow and Maya right now. And uh, how do you um, import those in order to actually read the velocity so you can have motion blur going on like you can see here motion blur is rendered out um, in the raw render you can see it as well um, so it's very easy um, and it's really really good so we have these particles and um, all you need to do is to go to tools uh, stitch and add files choose your particles uh, choose the whole the range you need um, let's say um, you can clear before that um, I'm not gonna stitch that but I just want to show you let's say okay and then you choose what the place you want to uh, stitch and choose the file name whatever and uh, stitch and then you have to wait a little bit and it's stitched. So now it's important part. How do you import those particles um, without plugin so it would actually work? Uh, you go to create, V-Ray, import proxy, and that's it. You choose whatever name you want uh, and then you choose one of your stitched files. Uh, import and then create. Uh, and once you create it, you have this, these particles, you can move them and whatever. And um, all you need to do then, uh, make sure you use a Lemic animation offset. And um, oh, this is a good thing to do. And you can choose loop once, ping pong, still um, the same things as always. Um, and uh, this is the very important part, if you don't know, particle with multiplier so you have to scale down if you want to see those uh, particles usually um, but just test it out how much you have to scale it down um, that's pretty much it and um, yeah just enjoy it and I hope that you find this helpful have fun